when it started to slow down at No Limit or when it just came to an end and everybody started leaving, mm -hmm. what was going on during that time and how were you dealing with that? It was rough for me because I felt like I was in the middle. Because mm -hmm. you have P, you have Beast by the Pound, but that mean KL. Yeah. And so, you know, and I think some, you know, I always felt like, you know, with, with P, it was more or less like that's your guy, you know. And KL was being his own man in, in that whole situation because them dudes love each other no matter what people going to say. Yeah. You know, because many times I could say this and KL might get mad and he might not, but I want people to know the truth. Many days he would sit back and say, man, he's doing this without us, you know, even though we, you know, we going to do what we are doing, you know, and he's like, man, man, he, that person shouldn't be, you know, he shouldn't have did a beat for him. Nah, P would have been better on this. Not once, he never stopped being that way. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and P might have his hard way. You see him, man, was hiding with your people, uh, whatever. You know, I ain't worried about them doing me, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, you could tell, you know, and I felt like in time going, that was the one time that, because P was always able to fix everything. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? He, they was two stubborn bulls. Mm -hmm. You know, it was so simple. And for me, honestly, it wasn't about choosing a side. I felt in the middle, which I didn't like, because that's my bro, my big bro. I love him with everything. That's TRU, blood in, blood out to the debt. Mm -hmm. And this is my brother. You're blood in, blood out to the debt. You know, and they was to me like they was Dre and Snoop. They was our Dre and Snoop. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And they supposed to be together. You know what I'm saying? And so, and for me, I was getting burnt out, man, because... I never saw none of my kids take their first steps. Mm. We was gone, and and at the time being married, yeah. suffering, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I just a lot of things, and then I didn't like a lot of the fame. So for me, it was more like I just won't get away, and I don't want to be bothered with it, you know, with things or whatnot. And so that was rough, man, because now you're sitting back, and it's like I'm going to run across somebody, you know what I'm saying? And just like perfect example, you know, I'm like, I ain't seen him in a while. How you going to feel? And I remember I was watching a thing when Pastor Troy was on. He was talking about him to see murder. Yeah. And I was there because I saw him upstairs. And when I came down, C was like, what's happening? And I'm seeing my brother for the first time. And I done walked away. And just to show you the love between us, you know, like most labels, you think they, okay, y'all done walked away. So when somebody see you on that label, it's, it's beef. Yeah. You're like, man, what's happening with you, bro? No, I said, not much. What's happening with you? He was like, so where you going, man? He said, going upstairs. I said, what you going up there for? I said, he looked at me. I said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was like, you know, TRU. And that's the code. I got to turn back around. Yeah. And, you know, go upstairs. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it never stopped being that love. Even when I didn't see P for years and saw him and – What's up, sir? What's happening? You know, out of kids. I'm like, you know, and I'm watching Romeo. And that was hard because we was around Romeo. He's a baby. You know, yeah. him in versity, you know, and the rest of P kids. And you watching Rome grow, you know, and you're like, damn. Not to be there for the money and the fame. Like, I knew it. That little kid, you know. Yeah. You know, and all these kids, man, very talented, small kids, you know. And, you know, you just, like, you always sit back and say, like, that's like saying if I, pay, if I played for – the Cowboys, right? All my life, no one championships, right? And then you leave. And then you watching them, you know, might go through struggles. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, no matter what he was doing, I was always watching. So now I'm sitting there like, oh, that's not the right beat. Oh, he could have did this, he's doing that. Okay, now they hating on him out there. And, I'm, and, and it's like, it's TRU blood and blood out. So if you're hating on him, when I see you, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. You know, because I still will put it out there. My brother in the street, even though we ain't spoken in years, I'm going to get you in the streets and I'm going to get you wherever, wherever I see you at. Mm -hmm. You know, and I would see people saying little things and I'm just sitting there like, please let me run across them. You know, or I wish I was there at that moment. You know, you know different things, you know, because, uh, you know, we went too, we came too far. Yeah. You know, so... That was the hard parts, man. It was it was hard, man. It was, you know, like no matter what I did, it still was the fact of how would P do it? Mm -hmm. You know, or I get a beat from somebody and it's like, man, ain't a KL beat, ain't a Moby beat, they ain't a beast by the pound. Mm -hmm. It's like, and then people, our fans are different, man. Our fans are like, and I'm not saying a disrespectful way, like white fans, yeah. you know, of their music, like, you know, sir, that song was nice, but it's not a beast by the pound. <laughs> like, I'm like, well, bro, this producer, man, he nice. He okay. Yeah. But 
If you'd have said that hook on, on, on a beast by the pound hook, they didn't let you. They, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They made it hard. <laughs> they, they still bought your stuff, but then it's like, we, we, we love you, but we don't want you on that. We don't. Well, P should have been on that song, or C should have been on that song. Why you and me on that song? You know, and that, that was what we was up against when you when things split. And after all of that time reuniting, feeling so good on stage, man, what does that do for you, Servo? Man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 29, you yeah. know, in my club age. But now, you know, being older, the funniest thing, the first time, you know, and and I forgot, man, I was, I was sounds energetic. Yeah. So now <laughs> you come like this, say, fresh off the couch, you know, mm-hmm. you know, been doing a little working out. <laughs> and now you're getting up there jumping for two hours, man, and – and you're a man, and you walk away, and your face hurt, man. You don't even know why it's hurt, man. <laughs> your face you, like, everything hurt, man. I would call home, and like, how was the show? Babe, yeah, <laughs> babe, my body, I don't understand what's going on. Like, she was like, well, babe, you know how you know you're not younger than me? I said, man, man, it, sh- it was awesome, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, but then just as it start, mo- the tour start moving, and you watching your people, you watching mama do her stuff. Who commands a the stage? Then you watching Fiend, who Fiend, you know Fiend, a, a teddy bear, yeah. big guy. But I ain't never you once you see him go high stepping out there, and the whole time he going across <laughs> there, you get that feeling, man. Yeah, but it's still bittersweet, mm. you know, because so many we got missing, uh, and and you know with 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 Slim not here, you know, because he never got to really get to that that situation, and Ed not here, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you always got your back, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't have to look, he was there, he was there with Mama, always had it, you know, and and now Papa Fino, you know, I mean, it's 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 just a list, and then most important, man, like C, yeah, because yeah, I could be up there back and pee up and being on stage, but that was C thing. Yeah, and to watch him and his brother, they they move the same. They walk past each other on the same beat. They might get in each other's face right in front there, and just word for word, it was and 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 seeing them two, and they not there. That's hard, you mm. know. And you know, it's a bittersweet part. But then to be with your brothers and sisters backstage, laughing and joking, and you know, and I joke a lot, you know what I'm saying. And and you know, and and then fiend, you know, we have fun and and Mac. You know, we miss C, but Mac gave us a little something to look forward to, like C coming, and he yeah. will be. Yeah. You know, but you know, it's 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 a beautiful thing, but it's more beautiful to watch people who are twenty five, mm-hmm. not even forty five, <laughs> and they telling you, man, look, my life consists of coming on, taking care of grandkids, or making sure that I was done, do my work, and I don't do nothing. Yeah. But y'all in town, man. I got life again for the night. Me and my wife, right? Hey, like I can say them squeezed in them 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 some fatigues and <laughs> and you know, they, they old soldiers, man, but they there. Come on. And that's what I wish for young artists. Mm-hmm. You know, you could say the little thing with the old the young artists talking about the old rappers, get out the way, all this craziness, right? <laughs> little little fella, you would want to wish twenty five years later you can put pack out a damn thirty thousand dollars in there. Thirty thousand people in there, man. Come on. And they the same people that if you look at them hard enough and remember, the same person was there twenty five years ago. That's right. You gave them a moment in time of their life, and it's a beautiful thing, man. 